We begin the program with news on the Kenyan doping crisis where suspended Kenyan athlete Kipiegon Bet has blamed his management company, Golazo Sports, for his doping tribulations. In a sensational revelation, Bet accused his agents of failing to update his whereabouts information, leading to missed tests. The athlete also alleges that he has been advised to accept an EPO charge and waive his right for defense. CGTN sports editor Sadiq Shaban spoke to him and filed this in exclusive interview. Yeah, I'm Gibeacon Bed, 800 meter uh, bronze medalist last year in London. I'm also a world junior champion and uh, a silver medalist 2015 in Cali. Those are global athletics titles acquired in just about two years. Kipiegon Bet grabbed the global headlines at the 2017 World Championships in London, winning a bronze medal in 800 meters. But the World Athletics Governing Body has now preferred two charges against the 20-year-old Kenyan. The first one is breaking the anti-doping rules. There was another case uh, about missing a test, of which uh, my, my management uh, did not uh, update my whereabouts that I was in uh, I was in uh, Eugene all the way to Stockholm. So I'm seeing that there's something going on, of which I don't know. But the athlete's management company refutes the claims. This information uh, is known by the athletes, and they have to stick to that. They cannot actually turn around and blame anybody because it is their responsibility as an athlete. It cannot be given to any other person, either manager or a friend or anybody. It is them. The IAAF also says the athlete refused to give his samples for testing contrary to the rules. And it was not the first missed test. The only test uh, I missed was there was a guy who came alone. And according to ATAX rule, they say uh, there is no way whereby there is no way whereby one person can come to test you. So uh, I, uh, I didn't interview, but I asked that guy to come with a witness in case of anything. Uh, they should be the one uh, you can give uh, another accusations. Shortly afterwards, the former World Under-20 champion was charged with a second and more serious anti-doping rule violation. Did you inject yourself with EPO? No, I even I, I have I have even not tested anything like uh, EPO. Kipiegon Bet has now been suspended from athletics and his case referred to the disciplinary tribunal. But there's a new twist to this case. My management, <laughs> they tell me to accept the, the accusation, to accept that I used doping. And yet I know myself I didn't use anything. So how comes do I accept something I know I've never done before? Even I don't know. But <laughs> in my mind, I just accept to him that it's okay. Then I move. But later I think it can't make sense because that was in my mind that if I accept these things, I, I'm going to be in judge because I, I, that is something I know about myself. I know I've never done anything. I've never injected my body anything. I've never used any kind of supplements, you know. So there is no way by <laughs> a person forced you to do something you know it is wrong. His claims have been denied by his management group, Golazo Sports Management, who have advised Bet to familiarize himself with options at his disposal at this time. Five anti-doping rule violations have been registered by Kenyan athletes in the first eight months of 2018 alone, in yet another difficult year for Kenyan athletics. What worries officials here more is the increased use of EPO among the elite level of athletes. And sources within the anti-doping sector say there could be up to half a dozen more cases under consideration. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, in Nairobi, Kenya.